Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh my God! He's friendly. You don't have to worry oh, about him. He's a <laughs> Not a horse, horse. Horse, yeah. yeah horse. <laughs> Come on, Cash. Come on. Let's go to the park. Come on. Come on, Cash. Come on, let's go across the street here. Yep, there's been a lot of dogs, dogs over there at that post. Come on, let's go across the street here. There we go. We're going to go for a walk over here at Mel Melbourne Park. Come on, Cash, come on. Of course, Cash is preoccupied because there's a lot of dogs that have been here. Okay. Come on, Cash, come on. It's a very hot day today, so we had to wait for the evening to uh, have things cool off enough that we can go out and go for a walk here. Hi. Nice pony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a pony. A pony, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Come on, Cash. Come on, let's go, come on. Okay, Cash, come on, let's head up this way. Come on, let's go, come on. So much to see and do over here. Okay, come on. This way. Come on. It's a little bonus video I'm doing right now. Saturday, August the 14th. And uh, like I said, we're here at O'Melveny Park. This is one of our local spots, and of course, Cash has got a lot of a lot of things to check out over here. I want to go walking where there's a little more people over here. Uh, by the way, I added some photos to my Instagram account, Cash 2.0 Great Dane. Uh, in some of my videos, I've mentioned before that he used to be a champion show dog. Come on, Cash. I've actually got some pictures up there. If you'd like to see him with his show handler, he's actually got a couple of pictures where. Uh, he is with his show handler and one where he is in the winner's circle. Uh, he actually took best in breed. So back when he was showable before, uh, you know, before he was neutered, uh, he was uh, quite the specimen of a dog. Even with his height, his handler would say that uh, he still had really good structure, you know, even though he was exceptionally tall. So come on, here we go. Also, on this video, if you uh, have any questions you'd like to ask me, and I was looking at doing a live chat. I had some technical issues with that. I tried to do one before. I thought it'd be really fun if we had some kind of a live chat where people could ask me questions. Uh, but I had a little technical difficulty with that. When I tried to launch it, I don't think there was enough bandwidth available at that time, and uh, you know the computer was just going around in circles. So if you have some questions you'd like me to answer about Cash 2.0, uh, go ahead and uh, put them underneath, underneath here, and uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can. I think this would be a good Q&A type of uh, a clip here, something we really haven't done much. You know, sometimes I try to talk about things that people uh, have asked me in these videos, and, uh, you know, occasionally I'll, I'll answer something, but 
I'll try to get to as many questions as I can in this particular video. If you just go ahead and put your questions underneath and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Come on. Okay, come on. There we go. We'll see, maybe there's some more people up ahead. But if not, you know, nice little Saturday evening walk. Let's get a chance to get out there, see some sights. You know, I try to put up a video every day. Uh, a lot of times I will shoot the videos, you know, in several of them a day. I get a lot of questions. Some people say we want to see longer videos. I try to make them as long as possible. Sometimes it's not always possible. There's sometimes when I need to cut them short. If they're really short video, I may put a couple of them up. You know that you know how I feel about editing. I don't like to edit videos whenever possible, so. Now we've got some people up ahead. So we ran the Rosie's Dog Beach series. I hope you enjoyed that. We did do another trip last weekend to Rosie's Dog Beach. I shot eight more segments. I released the first segment this morning. Uh, we had gotten there before the group. It's some upcoming segments. You know, you'll see them interacting with some other dogs. Then we finally meet up with the group and that's when things get really exciting. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, like that would be better. Hold on. Look at the horse. Is it well, this is the equestrian trail, right? <laughs> Cash is trying to figure all this out. What is he doing? He's just walking around. Thank you. I've had some requests to uh, go to some of the university campuses. It's definitely on my list. The problem is right now there's a lot of heat. You know, over in the Los Angeles area where I'm at, you know, today the temperatures hit 100 degrees. And, uh, you know, I just can't have them out there in that kind of heat. Uh, you know, when I first started doing these videos, some of the comments were about, you know, the heat. Well, you know, you can't always tell what the temperature is by watching a video. And, you know, some of these videos were recorded on days other than when I actually uploaded them. So checking the forecast for when I uploaded isn't always accurate either. Um, I'm always looking out for cash, you know that. But, you know, here we are in the middle of August. It is definitely very hot. Come on, cash, come on. And I need to take all this pretty seriously. So we're on an evening walk right now and it's uh, very cloudy out right now too. So nice and cool. We're gonna go over here into the meadow area. Come on, Cash, let's go over here, come on. I appreciate everybody who uh, makes comments and subscribes and likes the videos. Uh, I try my best to make content that you'll like. Like I said, I'm sorry that it's a little bit limiting with this heat. There's a lot of other places I'd like to go. Uh, in the spring when it was cooler, I was able to uh, go to some of the inland areas, uh, Chinatown and uh, Little Tokyo and Alvera Street, but those areas are too hot right now. We'll get to those when things cool off. It's kind of just a little relaxing walk here. Not as many people. Well, you know, some of our favorite spots, we like the village at Ventura Harbor. And of course, we like the Santa Monica Pier and all areas around Santa Monica. And of course, Venice. Venice has really cleaned up lately. You know, there were a lot of unhoused people residing there. Well, that's been pretty much cleaned up now.
As I get more still photos, I'll add some more to my Instagram account. So hopefully you can see them there. Hi. That's a big dog. That's a big dog, yeah. Big friendly dog. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is kind of his little time here out in the open area, so I kind of let him do his thing. <laughs> oh yeah, he's. You can say hi to him. Come here, Cash. Come on. You have to go to him. You friendly, Bubba? He's friendly. It's okay, Cash. You gotta be okay, slow and gentle. You don't want to scare him. See, you want to hold your hand out so he can sniff you. That's how you approach a dog so they can see if you're okay. Huh. That's actually wonderful you're teaching them that. <laughs> yes. I've seen the exact opposite of that. Can I put my kid on your dog's back? You know, I've seen <laughs> I've seen the opposite of that. <laughs> of course, I don't allow that, but. <laughs> I had a chow chow. Oh, yeah. I'm known for being aggressive when I was a kid, so. <laughs> I had to learn early That's not to dog, just huh? like run up to a dog you don't know, especially something that large. Yeah. So I want my kids to know that too. A friend of mine had a black chow. It's a gorgeous dog. Its name was Bear. Well, probably all of them are named Bear for all I know. They say they look so much like him. But um, uh, this dog was just the most mellow thing. My friend's kid, he rough housed with it, everything. The dog was just cool with it all. <laughs> it looks like Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo, yeah. <laughs> Okay, baby. Oh. We'll get our pictures. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sure. Good dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he a show dog? Uh, he's been fixed, but he was a champion show dog. That is true. He looks like he epitomizes the breed. He exactly. When I take him out, he stacks himself up. He oh, thinks yeah. he's at the dog show. Oh, this guy is. He's had a lot of training from a professional dog. handler. Oh yeah, no, you could, he just. You know, just everything about him is the breed. Yeah. Wow, he's beautiful. Thank How you. Old is he? uh, he's five years old. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. You can say hi to him if you want. You kind of have to come up to him. He doesn't always come up to people. Oh, he came up to you. There you go. You must have pets. He's checking yeah, it out. Yeah. yeah. No, he heard the. He heard the oh, there you go. There's the dog here. He heard the compliments. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, no, this guy is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Is it okay if I take a picture? Of course. Oh. Hey, bud. Getting him to pose sometimes can be a little tricky. This guy, is, he's interesting. He's a rock star. <laughs> I like his tail. Cash, you got to stop. Here, they want to take your picture. There you go. Here, I'll move out of the way here. I'm not as photogenic as he is. <laughs> Stay, Cash. Stay, Cash. Oh, that's perfect right there. But he's a pretty dog. Oh, thank you. He's beautiful. Yeah. That's a, he's like, when you look over, a, a, oh, look at this. This guy's a oh, man. You want a really great picture? Here. Oh, Go stand next to him. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Stay, Cash. Now you got to take control of him. Here you go. Now you stay. Because this will put his size into perspective. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. I've never seen a dog this big. Uh, he is, he's an, even for a Great Dane, he's, yeah. no, he's exceptionally this big. This guy is just the epitome of the breed. I'm telling you, he just, wow, he's beautiful. Thank you. And his temperament, everything, huh? Wow, he's just, they don't come along like, you know, you don't get a dog like that. He's not the, your average dog. Wow. Now, he's an adopted dog. Are you serious? And I don't know if you saw with the people who were here before, he acted a little shy when the yeah. gentleman was there. Yeah. And the the last owners that had him before he went back for, to the handler yeah. for retraining and, and came to me, he was handed off at a park. Oh, so wow. there's something about parks where he thinks, okay, well, the party's over. I'm going to go home with someone else today. Oh, he yeah. doesn't seem to understand that I'm his forever home. Yeah. Cool. Now, I raised a Great Dane puppy before him. Oh, wow. And so I didn't have that issue of the insecurity. Right. But um, I'm a big... I'm a big advocate of rescue and adoption. Oh yeah. No. Because the Great Dane puppies, they are very hard to raise. Oh, I can My, imagine. He yeah. tore the house apart, <laughs> cost a fortune in yeah. vet bills to get into adulthood. Oh yeah, no. I... But I mean, I loved him. He was a wonderful yeah, dog. No. But um, with a rescue dog, they may have their little quirks, right. you know, because they're getting used to another home. Yeah. But 
they, they come to you temperament tested, health oh, tested, yeah, no. everything is just turnkey ready to go. You just got to give them some time to adjust. Yeah, no. But he is so extensively trained. Oh no, just just the way he carries himself. The, I mean, I don't think the kids understand that, but just you know, he's just he's a rock star. I'm yeah, sure he's a rock star. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for stopping to say hi. Come on, Cash. Okay, you can do whatever you want to do, Cash. What do you want to do? You want to just stand there and look around? That's okay, too. <laughs>